What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful channel. Today we are finally going to watch the Zach Sang show interview. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry. I don't even know this show existed before I got all the thousands and thousands comments like <laughs> um, that I really have to watch this half an hour interview. So today a little bit of a longer video. Um... And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a, it is a completely fully English interview. Um, and it is pretty new, actually. It is nearly three months uh, online so far. So um, they're talking about a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Like we got half an hour. It is the longest Blackpink video I've ever watched. So I'm really excited for it. I'm looking forward to it, guys. And I'm really, really just want to um yeah experience it i'm i'm really looking forward to it like half an hour is like so much time and um i believe it's going to be a good interview guys so if you're new be sure to subscribe and leave a like would mean the world to me because we are here a blackpink channel for now we are definitely going to check out bts and all the other cool k-pop groups but for now i just want to stick with blackpink because i really love them okay i really love them so um, that is why for now we're just gonna watch Blackpink and um, yeah, I would say we're just jumping right into it guys. Everyone, we're Blackpink and we just had an interview Hello. on the Zack Sang show. Um, we had a lot of fun, so please check it out. Let's, let's do this. Okay. Zack Sang show. Zack Sang. Beautiful human. Zack Sang. Hello. Okay. Hello. 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 We have Dan here. Hello. And we have Hi. the beautiful ladies of Blackpink. All right. Hi. And we have Flo here Hi. also. Please Thank do you. not let my conversation interrupt you and your white chocolate M&M's. Oh, <laughs> okay. These are really good. By the way, there are nuts in them. Mm -hmm. We're good. We're, we're good? Yeah, we're all okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. You never know. <laughs> By the way, Coachella, what is going on? Congrats. Oh, Damn. Thank you so much. I mean, it's oh, look freaking crazy, clapping. right? Wow. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. <laughs> it is. I mean, do, do you genuinely mean that when you say it? Because so much life is happening right now around you. Yeah. And from the outside looking in, it, it could be seen as crazy. Yeah. I mean, I'll have to say, when I was performing at Coachella, it was the most intense one hour of my life. Like, yeah, I believe so. Just too much energy from everybody. Like, I couldn't handle it. I'm still not over it. <laughs> What kind of high is it when you're on stage and you look out and all you see Damn. are people? Uh, it's. I think it's but like you know how people say after you go on um, a stage where you feel like you really interacted with the crowd, um, it, it lasts for a long time and it's really addictive. I totally experienced look that at this time. So after the show, we drove back to LA and we were at our hotel room. And I remember I just had to keep re replaying it over in my head, like again and again. And it was like, that was like the best feeling I've ever felt yeah. in my 22 years of existence. It's it's really, really surreal. Like, like it's it's so... I think so. Like, like I'm so happy for them. I they love did it. the whole experience. It's like yeah. so beautiful. And everybody is just amazing. Like everyone in the crowd what is it like when you're up on stage are you focused <clears throat> on what's coming out of your mouth or are you focused on dance moves how do you See, juggle usually, all of it like, like when you're kind of nervous or when you're not like totally connected to the crowd i feel like you have a lot going through your head like yeah like what am i singing right or like are these people feeling it like what do i have to do more to like um you know interact with them more like yeah. Um, you get a lot of thoughts, but honestly, I, me personally at Coachella, I just really enjoyed myself. I know. Mm -hmm. I could Damn, that is cool. Right? <laughs> I went out the same. Like you know, it was such a big stage, and I had pressure. We all had pressure, and I went up thinking like we have to perfect this. But then as soon as I got up, I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna enjoy yeah. myself <laughs> and yeah. sing whatever I want. Is, is that because everything was kind of synced up? Everything was in line? The crowd was with you and mm -hmm. the energy was right? Definitely. Like, we didn't yeah. expect to have, you know, have such a big crowd and they were really yeah. singing their lungs out. Like, mm -hmm. they were singing with us. And oh, that is so cool. Thing is just so to hear them, like, talk about cool. it like that way. But that was, like, the best <laughs> part of it was that 
we did not expect it. And I think best things come when it's unexpected. Yeah, sure. Um, like even in the morning of the show, I literally, I was in bed and I kind of, to be honest, was thinking, okay, maybe like today, tonight, there might not be like a full crowd, mm. but still like I'm going to have to do my best today mm. is what I thought. Mm. Until we like us I four, know. we walked out on stage. Yeah. We didn't even have time to talk about it, but we were like, <laughs> and then the music uh. came on, and I'm like, oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> and it took me a whole hour to really figure out that everybody that was standing there was actually looking at us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They weren't there for like a different show. They weren't like faced like mm-hmm. a different way. They yeah. were faced towards us, and it was. I don't crazy. know how many people were there. Like crazy, crazy. twenty thousand. You set yourself up for the worst. Thirty thousand. And the yeah. best. Yeah. Ended up happening. Yeah. I mean, you, you said something pretty interesting, right? Like, why you guys then, right? You didn't expect all these people to be there. Yeah. What is it about Blackpink? What is it about what you stand for? It is a revolution. That feel connected to the art that you release. I mean, that's even that's a question we ask. <laughs> like, I ask every day. Like, we would like to know, but um, we're, I mean, we're four different girls that came from four different worlds, and to be yeah. in a group like this is <clears throat> odd itself i feel like and to perform in with music that's that you guys have never heard because it's a little different i mean is it different yeah it is it is it's pretty different okay yeah, <laughs> yeah. Different than they are just different they are just to, different so they're really different are kinda, it's special oh that's new you yeah. know they're attracted yeah. to something new so maybe yeah, they are something new, mm-hmm. definitely. And I also think your production's amazing on yeah. these records, and the way you guys flow between English and Korean <laughs> is so seamless. Yeah, it it's is really beautiful. Like in one record, it's I I, I spent all weekend really diving in. Wow. So Aww. let's dive in here. Um, whoa, where do I start? What one back to Coachella? You made friends. You guys showed up, or Austin, or uh, yeah, Ashton Irwin from Five Seconds of Summer. He ended up in the back of one of your Instagram um, videos that you posted. Really? What? Really? Yes. Oh, we he, didn't even know. He was, was there. Video? <laughs> yeah, one of the videos. It, was it when we were like jamming to Jaden? <laughs> really? I don't know. But I didn't even know they had like. <gasps> this is we we haven't had what? this. Damn, that is crazy. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is: okay. do we make friends at Coachella? Uh, we kind of did. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jaden Smith and Diplo cool. actually they actually waited out um like we near our caravan to say hi. Yeah. So oh, that is cool. Hi. That's they cool. They were like really really They were so kind. sweet to us and they they yeah. they were so down to earth like uh, way more than we would expect yeah. them to be and they were so like happy to see us they when we are all starstruck. Yeah. We're like hi. Sam, that's cool to hear. Yeah. And Jaden Smith. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Jenny you, you <laughs> there's so much here because you guys all have your own stories yeah you learned english by going to school in new zealand right mm-hmm. it, why go back to korea and why dive into the trainee program and oh. mm-hmm. really i i'm, I'm assuming mm-hmm. or did you always want to do this mm-hmm. like sorry well, so when i was in new zealand i lived by myself like my family was living in korea and you were so young i know i was i was 10 when i went there wow. yeah. <laughs> and so Damn. by the time i didn't even I, know that i turned 14 15, wait so wait my mom she lived by herself since she was 10 that's crazy to think of like that's crazy wanted me to actually move me move me to the states like oh, I think that's Florida. crazy yeah she had plans mm. to move me beautiful but... florida mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we we actually went took a trip to florida saw the school to saw the place that i would live in yeah and it hit me like i don't want to live by myself in florida not knowing what i want to do and i started thinking what i want to do and it was really like i was like out of there i was like i want to do music i want to like learn how to dance and stuff like that so i told my mom it worked out mom, it all worked of out going to a new mm. school why don't i just come home and do something that i would enjoy for the rest of my life and mm. she was supportive with it and cool to hear that her parents were supportive started. <laughs> wow whoa <laughs> your life really could have been totally different mm-hmm. yeah and Definitely. i think it's really special that you traded in not wanting to be alone mm-hmm. to having 
three incredible human beings around you all the time. Yeah. Sisters. Instant, instant sisters. <laughs> human beings that you're comfortable enough around to like open your mouth so they can feed you M&M's. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not, it's not every it's day really that you're that comfortable around yeah. somebody. We've kind of, we've lived together for already ten like years? Yeah. almost ten years. years. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're closer than like our like Custom. family. <laughs> so we're basically like yeah, new sisters to each other. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you met each other? Definitely. Yeah. We talk yeah. about it all the time. Like, <laughs> the four of us. So oh, she's so, so cute. Last, she's like <laughs> laughing in the background. She came through. With her guitar and her <laughs> Aussie girl. Yeah. Girl. <laughs> little girl from Australia. She came along and us were just clicked and we just so all started funny. singing yeah. together I think from that's day the one. We talk about every time somebody <laughs> asks about like first impressions mm -hmm. is when I flew all the way from Australia. Like I brought a guitar. <laughs> And we ended up like jamming till like 5 a.m. Damn. The first I don't think we, we cared about what our neighbors thought. We just, <laughs> it was an apartment. That's so cool to hear. We sang till sunrise. The or origin funny. story, like, you know? Well, by the way, it is crazy that you left New Zealand to go to Korea to join because did you audition? Australia. Australia, I'm so yeah. sorry. No, it's okay because I was born in New Zealand and I lived in Australia and then I left. Did you audition for YG in Australia? Yes. Like, literally, like, Damn just it. an open audition. W why'd you do it? Because my dad told me to. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was my sick dad. of me, like, s like screaming at the top of my lungs on my piano every night at, like, 12 a.m. <laughs> um, I think he was sick of me, so he just well, wanted props to, like, to the get rid of me and just, like, <laughs> send me to South Korea to just Go fulfill my dreams. Else. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny, once I grew up, they told me, they were like, Rosie, like, to be honest, it was really hard for us to, like, <laughs> you know, go to bed when you were, like, singing at the top of your lungs. I think I would sing, like, Beyonce's Listen when I couldn't <laughs> reach the notes. <laughs> Because I was a terrible singer, but I used to do that. And I think my dad was like, okay, I think she wants to do music. And he asked me, do you want to take an audition? And I was like, I don't even know if I was qualified. So I was like, is that even a question? Like, can I? Like, am I allowed to? Like... But it was it was funny because I was like, um, yeah, okay. And then my parents had a whole fight about it. Like, mom was worried, yeah. mm. but at, in the end, they decided to be really, really supportive of it. And I flew all the way from Melbourne to Sydney to take the audition, and I got it. So cool to hear these stories. Do your parents fly with you to Korea? Do they just ship you off? No, yeah, they flew with me to. Korea, but then after they dropped me off, they had to come back to Australia because they've got their jobs there and everything. Yeah, obviously. So that's obviously. when these girls became my like family, and they really, really stuck by me through all those yeah. years. Yeah, it's cool. Sixteen wow. years old. <laughs> Damn. And look, y'all now. Oh, by the way, Lisa, congratulations on being the most followed K-pop artist on oh. Instagram. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, pretty wild, yeah. It is. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I was yeah. like, what? No way. <laughs> no way. No way. It's that beautiful hair. What color is your hair? It's it was ash brown, I think. Oh, it's kind of gray. gray. It's not brown. Love it. Gray. Really? It's gray. gray? Like khaki gray. Well, it used to kind of be more of like gray, a gray brownish. Tone. Yeah, but it that just turned cool. out. Like every day. Yeah, it's changed yeah. every day. Yeah. Either way, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. thank you. You made some history yourself. You were YG, and correct me if I'm wrong, you were YG's first non-Korean artist, right? Yes. Damn, so that is huge. How did they get it's to you? Huge how again. did you hear about all of this? Oh, well, I always, uh, when I, in Thailand, I always listen to K-pop songs. Love like, it. I love K-pop singer. And yeah. I told mom that, oh, I want to be one of, part of them. I want to be a K-pop artist, artist yeah. you know? Oh, and so then, cute how she talks uh, about it. Thankfully, thankfully the YG they they have audition in Thailand, oh. and same yeah, as same as yeah. same as you. Yeah. And then I, I just got in, and then yeah, it all worked out. Yeah. She flew over. Yeah, mm -hmm. to a country where she couldn't speak the language at all. At all, just only annyeonghaseyo. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's crazy to me. Crazy, like, even yeah. that, and that's like the first hurdle out of many hurdles that you're about to go over, which is. One of the biggest is you don't know the language. You yeah. have to, and you Must leave your family. It's so hard for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, So hard. What kept you going? And this is a question for all of you because training is not easy, I'm assuming. It's years and years. And yeah, it's really it's, hard. It, yeah, there's a lot. Everything in your world is yeah. different mm -hmm. overnight. Yeah. 
what keeps us going. Yeah, what was that motivation? For me, it was like this drive. Like, I was like, I cannot go fly all the way back to Australia without making this work. Like, I felt like it was a fight against myself. Because it was yeah. really, really difficult, to be honest, you know, mm-hmm. being away from family and I was so mm-hmm. young. I had never left, I had never slept um, outside of my house for like more than two weeks Damn. You know, at that age. Yeah. But I had to just leave and um, the, must have been the so culture hard wasn't her. like fully like in my blood yet. Mm-hmm. So it was very difficult. But for me, it was more like I have to, I have to make this work before I... Yeah. Like, you know, I'm never going to leave Korea without making this work. It was more of like my drive. I was more like angry about it. Like, this <laughs> has to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The fire kept her going. Like, <laughs> um, kind of the same. Like, you know, we all kind of just dropped everything that we were, we were, we're doing. doing. Like, mm-hmm. our whole life just changed overnight. Mm-hmm. And, um, and they put us into these groups of girls and just survive. Like, do like a survival thing every month and some people just go home after a month mm-hmm. some people go home yeah. after three years it's all different and to see some of the girls that <coughs> i trained with go home just made me more like um motivated yeah motivated yeah. because it's we all had one dream and it's it wasn't an easy thing to just stay there and yeah. go yeah. on w- with what we want to do so I'm like, just from there, just, I don't want to go home. That's all. Yeah. That, that was the only thing on my mind. Yeah. And you're so close to it, right? You just want to keep going. And, and <laughs> your your dreams are at a fingertip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Jisoo, by the way, I have not forgotten about you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> you play the drums? Jisoo. <laughs> 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 I read that online. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. And I was watching you acting and stuff. Oh. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jisoo. I love her. Are you her. still open to acting roles? Oh. Oh. But now, I'm going to play in the I'm going to so she she like <laughs> she says but for now like um working as a member of blackpink is her um main focus is, is like really ha- she's really happy doing that for now so okay. i think she's more focused on blackpink's work <laughs> beautiful <laughs> because there's there's nothing but opportunity ahead of you guys which is crazy is. Kill This Love EP, that is the most recent EP that you've put out there into the world. Oh, yeah, they did. Um, I, w- where do we start here? I, I want to start with Kick It, I guess. Kick It? Mm, kick that's it. my favorite song. Really? Oh, wow. wow. That's a, Can that's I kick it? Yeah, so. Kick It is pretty cool. <laughs> I love you. Kick It. My interpretation of the song might be off from how you guys interpret it, but uh, does it have to do with stereotypes and the name Blackpink? Mm. How is it all connected? Can you, like... Like the song. Yeah, like what is it? Tell me the story behind the record. Um, I mean, I guess it's like it goes for like whatever, like the listener, if you decide to hear it this way, it could be that this way. And if you kind of change the story up, it could be whatever you can um, put your mind to it. But I guess basically it's just like it's about freedom. It's like, can I just let go of all these like, yeah. you know, restrictions and like names and, you know, da di da and just be myself? Can I just kick it and. Just be you. Just be me. No stereotypes, no, no preconceived Damn. judgments. So, so I have to pause, guys. We're like in the middle now. Such a cool interview. I've learned so much. The host is pretty cool. Like, um, I like him a lot. And they are like really open. You can see that they can feel free to speak and that they are all like confident um, the way the interview is done. So it's a pretty cool interview so far. Yeah. That's, how I, that's how I felt with it. <coughs> that's exactly what it is. <laughs> What are you thinking over there? I just love like the last 40 seconds where there's like that chant where it seems like everyone's yeah. singing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, love I love that. Yeah. We, we had a blast seeing that in the studio. Yeah. Did you guys all just get in there and sing that part together? Yeah, yeah. we did. We cool. Really just, that was a, we only had the lyrics and we just got in and mm-hmm. our producer just gave us the melody right in the booth. Yeah, mm-hmm. inside the booth. We're like, really? Let's just do it. 
Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, so don't cool. sing it well. Like, yeah. please just don't. <laughs> sing it yeah. however you guys want it. You have to be more like reckless with it. So we did. Some yeah. Uh, why, why is that part written all in English? Mm. Um, I think uh, when, we, when we make our songs, like, um, we don't usually think before. We, yeah, like we don't set it like, oh, okay, this, this is a Korean, s- yeah. Because and our producer speaks English, and he's actually more of a English speaker. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes we would write our demos in English. Sometimes and sometimes we just stick with it because it's yeah. just perfect the way it is, mm-hmm. and we don't want to change it up into yeah. Korean sometimes. Mm-hmm. So whatever like yeah. fits perfectly, we yeah. try to put it. Mm-hmm. Nothing in it's like fake. We don't force anything to be Korean, or we don't force anything to be English. I think it'll kind of just kind it all of comes just, just natural. Finds its own place. Yeah. Are Are you creatively open to doing an original record all in English? Oh, I mean, we're down. Yeah, yeah. we're always yeah. doing it already. Like we're yeah. making demos in English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like full no songs in English. Cool. What? Boombaya. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. My favorite. Oh. The debut song. Yeah, yeah, that's on Square One back in 2016. Yeah. Mm. Whistle too, right? Those two records kind of mm. came yeah. back to back. Even how many times do you think you've performed Boombaya? <gasps> oh wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Literally, countlessly, thousand times. I don't know. A thousand times. Yeah. 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 Is it weird that that record is just now catching on here in the states, and now is you have? It? To, I mean, I think so. <laughs> no. I've listened to it a thousand times over the weekend. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love it. Also, who does that chant in there? There's like a like a scream almost, but like um, I, what I, part is it? Oppa? <clears throat> you mean the oppa part? Mm. I mean, wait, the, you, is it the, during the chorus? Yeah, and it comes in a couple times. Like, it, oppa, oppa. Yeah, I yeah. think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is it Jisoo? I don't remember. We all, <laughs> I think we all tried it at yeah, once. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny recording it, though. It was yeah. funny. <laughs> is, yeah. is that the song that says, Middle Finger Up, F you pain? Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's her part. Oh, yeah. Part. That's Lisa's part. <laughs> we had to change it up a little. Yeah. 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 Be more public. Um, Maybe a little. Yeah. A little. We have a, a lot, lot of take in. younger fans, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we changed it up to like just like just fingers, like, like this. Oh, uh, yeah. Point so we fingers. pointed up. Yeah. Point your fingers up. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Point your fingers up. That Coachella performance of that song, and you do like the windmill arms. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that face, Jenny, is exactly like <laughs> so intense, and oh, yeah. I feel like your arms are gonna fly off. <laughs> yeah. like, and that's super what fast. It feels like. Yeah. It's so intense. I know. And the head flip. And the head yeah. flip. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a move that was the hardest for you to tackle? Like a piece of choreography? Say, like the hair flips and the, the hair flips. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's the hardest. I believe so. But you just got to ha- you yeah. just have to let it go. Like let's say you just yeah. did your hair perfectly and you kind of don't want to ruin but you just, you just have to let it go. You yeah. can't hold on to it. But it's <laughs> worth it though. It's, it is worth it though. It's like a let it the hair go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> who uh who like takes who did the moves come easiest to? Like Lisa, Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. Lisa. Yeah. Lisa. Definitely Lisa. Yeah, definitely Lisa. No. The moves come easiest to you? Yeah, she just, she knows how to like. She has a computer in her head. (laughs) Yeah. She She has. She really has. Okay, she does it in like a second. She copies it in a That's crazy. (laughs) It is. What are you thinking about when you dance? Are you thinking about what you're doing next or are you just lost in it? I just. I don't want to think any about anything. Yeah, yeah. she's just yeah. doing her just thing. Stuff. I just yeah. She like, just, just lets let go my anything. Body yeah. moves. Take control. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. It is. Wow. Um, uh, another record I like. I, I don't want to say it wrong. Do uh, do. Do do do. You you're doing no, it right. No, yeah. like I want to sing it, but I can't. <laughs> no, say, say it. Hit you do, do, with it. Did it do? Yeah. 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 So good. Yeah. So good. <laughs> I mean that that just I don't know. These records are so pr- they're produced so beautifully and the the music yeah. is just they're so catchy. Boom. Like, do you have a record that you're the most connected to? From this album. I mean, any... from the beginning. Maybe from stay. Beginning. Probably stay. I don't know. Do you have? Like, like, you're my connected to, yeah, your favorite. Uh-huh. like the blinks are connected to stay a lot, I believe. Whistle. 
Whistle. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Whistle's also awesome. Do you like the good. acoustic version of Whistle that you do, or do you like the produced version? The the normal version, the original, version, one. The original oh. one. I love the acoustic though. Yeah. Oh. The strip back is great. Wow. Playing with Fire is another great record. Oh yeah. I love that song. You like it? Yes. I think that mix of Korean and English is so beautiful. Yeah, it is. They flow into each other. Yeah. Um, when you're when you're putting vocals on it, when you're rapping on these records, are you embodying somebody else's words? Are you adding your own words to it? How do, like what is the writing process like? We're uh, given with the lyrics, right? Yeah, like I pro- produce the uh, you work with them gets on to get yeah. the like the best. We would sit in the couch <laughs> the back and he would yeah. just be inspired. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then you embody the lyrics or yeah. you embody the verses? Basically. Mm. Um, I mean, I've seen them do it and I think they change it in a way. Like sometimes, let's say there is a demo done, but they change it in like a totally different way. Like it's like, um, it's pretty cool to, to see. Um, yeah. Mm. Put your own color into it. <laughs> Mm, I like it. Jenny Swift. Like. <laughs> what makes it special? Now, Jenny yeah. and Lisa, you guys are the rappers, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was rapping something you've always done, or is that new when you joined the group? Uh, for me, I started rapping because when I first came to YG, I was, I think I was the only one who could speak English in the mm-hmm. whole, within the trainees. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we had to cover pop songs, and they mm-hmm. always have raps. Uh-huh. And oh, like, yeah. You could speak English pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try rapping? And I'm like, okay. And hey, I enjoyed cool. it as soon as yeah, I started. That's so. cool. Yeah. I I actually haven't sang for a long time. Mm-hmm. If you really think about it. I only just started singing like when I when we mm-hmm. debuted. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Until then I was just rapper all the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, rapper Jenny. Interesting. Because solo, you're the first one to have your solo oh, project yeah? go through, but you all are having song. one. I love that so song. So when you when you dive into solo, mm-hmm. you know you need to rap on it, right? Mm-hmm. You... I, it was a hard decision to make, actually. Like these days, I'm really into singing too. Yeah. But then I feel like both singing and rapping kind of represents who I am, so I had to mm-hmm. mix, it mix it up it in up. there. Yeah. Do both. Yeah, do both. How are you doing on your solo project? Um, Rosé is coming next. We've I got a few songs down. Rosé is coming still next. Contemplating. It's always a hard decision, I guess. But I mean, everything's I, like even members. I'm sure, like we're they're preparing little step. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it time. depends on YG, in yeah. my opinion. Depends on <laughs> you YG. Can't tell you anything like exact <laughs> about it yet. Kiss and make up featuring Dua Lipa. Probably. Oh. I mean, f- really, it slaps. So yeah. freaking good. Uh, Love that. Song. What is that process like? Like the fact that Dua Lipa is even down to do a record and wants to do a yeah. record with you guys, yeah. so iconic. Cool. So crazy to think about. Iconic. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> we love you, Dua. <laughs> She's Dua. the coolest. Yeah. Yeah. She came to Korea for a show, and mm-hmm. me and Lisa went down and watched the show. We met her, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. she was just so cool about it. She's like, yeah, we, I've heard of Blackpink, and you know, let's do a song together. And Damn, after so cool how it worked year, out. She sent us kiss and makeup mm-hmm. and yeah. just ta da! Like hit us up with like the best song mm-hmm. ever. Yeah. Damn. Like, yes. And, and you guys added Korean lyrics to it. Yeah, yeah. we did to that make it fun. a little fun. And it worked out yeah. again. Yeah. Really, it, it's beautiful what you guys have done and yes. how you guys really embody just this global culture mm-hmm. and in your art and what you stand for. Music is a universal language mm-hmm. and it's it obvious is. in your fans and the assortment of people who yeah. really relate and see and hear themselves in the music you all put out Mm -hmm. it's really cool just to be over here as somebody who's been affected positively by your music but also get to watch other people uh, i like it i like the guy for the better too it's really special stuff so all the hard work is really worth it he's so genuine you know (laughs) you can see the truth who came up with the phrase black pink in your area? Oh, yeah, I want oh, to know that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Teddy. I love that. Oh, Teddy, okay. It was fun recording it. We were like, mm. what? Really? <laughs> black pink now in your area? Now we can't do a song without it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can you guys say it right now? Black pink <laughs> in your area. area. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's fanboy, Zach. He's fanboy. Of, <laughs> it showcases this global thing that everybody and anybody can be a part of it, and black pink is anywhere. Yeah. yeah. We're in your area. Such a cool phrase. (laughs) No matter where your area is. Yeah. Yeah. Letting them know. We're in your area. So wherever you are, we are. Yeah. (laughs) We're there. We're there. 
what songs are you covering right now on this new tour? Do you have any covers in the set? Um, we're actually continuing with the last set, but we just kind of like put it up a notch or like changed it up a little bit mm-hmm. here and there. Yeah. So are we still covering Beyonce? Beyonce? Oh, oh no. I, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, not this time around. <laughs> I was just I was just making sure. I don't know. I, I've been I gave my whole weekend to or you. You and could your music. come to the show on Wednesday and watch. Oh, I'm hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. I'm yes. so there, it's crazy. Okay, Kiss uh Kill This Love, that is E P. It deserves your ear. Yeah. You should listen to it. Any of you guys try to produce your own music? Write your own records? Um so far we've kind of gone with um what our producer really prepares for us. But I mean um, yeah. Anything's open, yeah. You've learned so much since the beginning of this journey, yeah. you know? Just soaking in knowledge <laughs> like a sponge. That's what's fun about you know, what we're doing, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Yeah, you guys are definitely my favorite K-pop group. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's still the fanboy. I like him, too. I like him, well, serious. What a statement. <laughs> I, like, I like all the music. It's so good. Oh, thank you. Would you guys say you're the best? Mm-hmm. Um, you, don't, uh, you don't have to answer that if you don't maybe. want to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Blackpink, everybody, sending you a lot of love. Thanks for hanging that out. Was it? Your energy. it really means Thank a lot. So that was it. Thank you for having us. Yes. Anytime. Kill this love. I really hope you were... How fast did this half an hour, like, end it, guys? Okay. Okay, guys, so that was basically it. Like, it was definitely, it was definitely the best interview I've watched so far about Blackpink. Like, seriously, though. Um, I like the host a lot, Zach Sang. Like, he's so likable and genuine. You could really see it. Like, he really, um, like, he, he really likes them. And he really did his work to get to know them better. And the other guy, like, was a little bit fanboying over them, which was pretty cool. And it was a really interesting interview. I've got to know them so good now. Like, for real. Like, the behind-the-scenes stuff, like... How it comes um, that they worked uh, together with Dua Lipa, um, the the stories how they came even to YG, um, the fact that Jenny lived for herself since she was ten, like, damn, that was, that is some pretty hard stuff, you know. So, it was a really cool interview, damn, and it goes fast by. Like I thought we were like, at twenty minutes now, but it already was the ending. So. Um, that was the interview guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and it was pretty cool like it was pretty cool and pretty enjoyable I hope you liked it um, and Yeah, we're gonna catch up with all the other interviews out there soon all the Korean game shows they've been on I'm really gonna um, Jump into them and um, then I would say we're going to see us with the next video in the next few hours guys That was it be sure to leave a like and subscribe. That was it Bye